welcome back to my channel like i am so totally excited because today's topic is something that will liberate a lot of people even if you ask me and uh, my name is chisom like you know this is six mindset that make many men marry wrong see disclaimer there's no wrong person out there somebody is not just good for you might be good for your brother right so when I say marry wrong is marry somebody who is not comfortable with you, who doesn't have the same ideology that you have, and who is totally going to make you down the line, down the years, either have broken heart, have a broken heart, have a broken marriage, or totally just put your life in a place where you don't want it to go, right? So to prevent it from happening, these are my top six mindsets you need to change. Now I understand mindsets are very, very hard to change. These are things that have that are long held beliefs that people have about women in general and i think that if you listen to this video and you take a cue and begin to rethink them and begin to observe our environment much more better than just hearsay you will find out that these things are true are you ready for this conversation six mindsets that you need to change if you want to enjoy your marriage if you want to get a relationship that is totally awesome there's something like an awesome relationship right <laughs> yes there is so if you don't want to marry wrongly and um, you know either get divorced down the line or have a broken marriage this is number one if or if the boys and even some women say all women are the same you should not believe that that's number one never believe that all women are the same it's just like you're saying that all men are the same how are all children the same is there anything in this world at all, any demographics that like you say they are the same is unintelligent. It's an unintelligent discussion if you ask me to believe that all women are the same. What this does to you is that it makes you act the same way with different women. It's crazy. Like this person is a different person, has a different name, is a different person, but you approach them the same way you approach this other person. And you're wondering why most women think that something is not so cool with you. Right? So number one, never believe that all women are the same. This is not true. It's not an intelligent discussion at all, right? Uh, and it flips both sides. Number two, thinking that women are complicated. That whole idea, a lot of talk and idea that women are complicated. Oh, they are this, they are that. We women, we just like variety. Every human being does. That women are able to develop their variety side, able to express themselves better doesn't mean they are complicated. I think that what maybe an average man should do is to go back and learn the man or rather the woman in his life. The woman in your life is different from every other woman on the globe and we are always different, right? So take your time to listen to what she's saying and what she's not even saying. And you're going to find out that it's a world of adventure, a world of fun, and you're going to have that thing that sync with her and with time you're going to blow them into a beautiful couple you know, slaying all your couple goals, if you know what I mean. So never believe that all women are complicated. That was also not an intelligent discussion. Mm -hmm. You heard it here. <laughs> Number three, women love only money and not men. <sighs> you believe that? That you need a lot of money all the time to get the women you want, for you to get a good woman, you have to, you know, Fake it until you make it and you have to keep struggling to impress her with money. <laughs> oh my god, I'll tell you the kind of women you get with money all the time. The women that want to enjoy themselves. You know, and you know, they don't want any anything tied, they just want to be able to enjoy with you every time, eat a bit of your money and just you know keep coming back if they can. And the day you don't have, they work. So bring that mindset into a relationship that is like marriage. And getting married without mindset is a total disaster. Thinking that all you need is money. Money is important, even for the women. Yeah, I mean, why would a woman get married without having money? Right? I remember when I got married, I felt totally like, geez, I thought you had the magic of making money, but marriage showed me that I need much more and I'm working hard on it. Right? Now, for you to believe that all that a woman wants is money, it's like saying that immediately you have money, you are short of happiness and a good home and a good marriage. Look around you, most people who have money. I take a look around you, all the men who have money and then who use the influence of their money to get the woman by, you know, putting her in pedestal, showering money on her, bringing her home. How happier than you are they? 
how, how. So don't just believe something because it is general talk. Prove it. And you don't have to prove it to the relationship. And that's what I'm making it to you. It is totally, you know, what it is. They are for the talk. Right? You don't necessarily, you know, you there's so let me put it this way, there's a lot of things that a man is to provide as a head of a home beyond money. Money is just one of them. And who said you can provide all the money that your your wife needs and your family needs forever and ever, all the time, even if you can. If she gets attracted to you because of your money, you have to keep keeping her with your money, and that doesn't even guarantee her you keeping her. For those who don't know, who know. Number right, four, for you to believe that your wife material is the girl who cooks well, cleans well, you know, always good on bed, in bed, and all of that is is a faulty ideology, right? Now that she cooks well, cleans well, you know, it's good in bed and all of that. They are just normal things girls or women or any any regular girl can have, right? What you want to look out for are who she is, how her goals in life are in the point or in the relationship with your goals in life, how her heart is towards you and other people, how much value she has for family, for marriage, much more than the things you can pay for. You can pay for laundry, you can pay for your dishes to be done, you can pay for practically everything to be done for you. So why would you want to use that as a criteria for a wife? Why would you want to use a made, paid made criteria for your wife material? A wife is your companion through life, it's the person in life who you should be vulnerable with, you share everything with, you should drive your life mission with, and you should do it together because it becomes easy when you do it together rather than when you were single. So why use, you know, like I said, paid made criteria for your wife material? That's totally wrong, in my opinion. Mm. In my opinion, right? So another thing you should ditch, one mindset you should ditch is that I mean, if I find a woman who is rich, it's always pretty popular now. If I find a woman who is rich and is willing to spend on me and I can give her certain return, I'm going to totally, you know, just marry her, more like totally allow her to give me money to marry her. You will cry. Trust me, you will cry. I'm so sure. Because women, we are not wired a certain way, right? Topic for another video, but you will cry if you want a woman who you want to depend on for life. Financially, emotionally, she calls the shot, you just follow, and you want to maybe sometimes find your own way under her shadow without her knowing, you are going to cry and it's, it's going to end badly. You know, look around, there are examples of men who have either done that or who have come out of that kind of situation. It doesn't ever, it doesn't ever end well, right? Do not look at a woman because of what she has and decide to play love and decide to play it until she brings her money for you to get married and live in her house and she pays the bills even when she gives birth and you think it's really cool. It's gonna end in tears. Trust me. Finally, another mindset you want to drop drop like it's home is the belief that I'm a man, I can sold my wife out. I'm a man, I can sleep with as many women as I can afford. <laughs> Excuse me. That's a weakness. Yeah, indiscipline is a weakness. You should call it what it is. Man, and again, it's your your rubbishing the whole masculinity thing. All men are not the same. First of all, men are not the gender that are so weak that they can't commit to what they say they love. Right? Yeah, you will say, who are they cheating with? Are they not women? Yeah, women are cheating as much as women from the foundation of the world have always been the partners cheating with men. But you want to be a different kind of man. It's a weakness to not keep your word to keep a woman as a wife and then go out to have other women who you're promising same thing or just promising sex or whatever it is that you guys have uh you know cooking up together you know it is weakness that's what it is and it's a wrong ideology sometimes most men get into this mode thinking that it makes them the man but no 
he makes you the demographics of men who are weak, whose ends are predictable, right? These are some mindset I think if you drop, you'll be able to be clearer by knowing first of all that you are all worth it, knowing where you're going to in life, then you're able to discover the kind of woman that you need to on that journey through life. And every other thing will come to place, right? The purpose of marriage at all is not also what society sometimes paints it as. It's bigger than that, it's, it's deeper than that. It's, some, it's a union where you make a decision to be all that with another person and to totally be happy at life. So if you're going through the challenges that life is together with a companion, you know, raising a legacy that will outlive you. If that resonates with you, please click on the like button, subscribe to this video if you haven't, and let's keep this conversation going. Until I come your way again, next time in my video, do go out to subscribe right now, put on notifications, and bye!